I remember in high school in Auckland, New Zealand, in my science class, the teacher gave us some pond water. And I was looking under the microscope and I saw this little creature called a paramecium whiz past. And I spent the next hours and hours looking at the microscope to see if I could find another one. And my science teacher told my mother, Neil's going to be a scientist. I first came to Penn State by a letter written to me by John Crider. He said, Neil, come to Hershey. There's a wonderful place here to do some research. And here I am. The monoclonal antibodies we made, we tested them out in uh, John Crider's xenograft model system for neutralization of the human papillomavirus. And we got lucky in the sense that these were clear neutralizing antibodies. And from there, these reagents could be used to QC test the virus like particle vaccines that various companies have been making. So I met Matthew Smith when I was a postdoc here at Hershey, and he was instrumental in developing um, intellectual property based on our Penn State monoclonal antibodies. So without Matthew's help, these antibodies would probably have remained in the research community and have very minimal interest. When I was an intern, I went through and found uh, John Carter and Neil Christensen's invention disclosure. A few years later, uh, pharmaceutical companies started reading their publications and requesting materials, and they were not just interested in one, they wanted several. And that um, opened up the door for doing material transfer agreements that subsequently carried momentum to have Neil explore the possibility of making additional monoclonal antibodies for di different types of HPV. It's important to add here that these monoclonal antibodies were made long before the vaccine was developed. And so since we sent them out to numerous researchers and vaccine manufacturing companies picked them up, they became the gold standard for testing new vaccines and the original vaccine for human papillomavirus. Neither of us envisioned that it would be picked up into a drug development program by major pharmaceutical companies that would be carried and baked into their development effort to the point that they would, these companies would come back and request the cell lines. Neil can take satisfaction that his life's work has resulted in several vaccines having been developed and commercialized that improves the human health condition. The contributions that we made with these monoclonal antibodies is very humbling to me in the sense that we didn't recognize the antibodies would have such value when we first made them. So today, after 20 five years of these antibodies still being requested, still being used in the vaccine QC testing, still being requested from new companies making a papillomavirus vaccine, is pretty humbling. <laughs>